hand something round. Thimble. It is not desperate. Elegant. Now what is this sign? Absurd. Mean? Solemnly. A piece. But no. Gravely. But it is not comfort. Seriously. This tail and that tail. Totally different. And without any humor. Bowed. Why not bold? Solemn. But no. Well done, Havisha. Well done. Shook. Alice got confused between this tail and this tail. Fury. Kar. Furious. Prosecute. Who is this man? Cunning. No. It's jury. Breath. Breathe. What's the difference? Let me tell you. And is silent over here. <sighs> Hello my brothers and sisters, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to learn Alice in Wonderland Chapter 3, A Caucus Race and a Long Tail, Part 13. So let's start without wasting further time. Alice had no idea what to do and in despair she put her hand in her pocket. Now what is the meaning of despair? First of all, let me tell you, it is not despair, as you will say des des and p a i r pair, but it is not despair. It's not despair. It's despair. It's not des. It is dis despair, not despair. In both American and British English, it is despair. What is it? Despair. I hope you got it. But what is the meaning of despair? Despair means the state of having lost all hope. Now look at this man. He is in despair. Means in a, he is in a state of having lost all hope. Means he has lost all hope. Let me give you another example. Whenever my mother goes out to buy vegetables or something, first of all, it's not veg vegetables, it's vegetables, doubles, it's not tables, it's doubles, vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. So, whenever my mother goes out for buying vegetables or something else and she comes back and my brother looks at the bag, what has my mother brought or I would say what has my mother bought and if there is no toy, he will sit down in despair. Means he will sit down in a state of having lost all hope. Now let's move forward. And pulled out a box of comfits. Luckily, the salt water had not got into it. Now, what is this comfit? First of all, it is not comfit. It is comfit. What is it? Comfit. Comfit. Now, yes. Comfit is a sweet made of a nut, seed, with a hard sugar covering, like this sweet. Now look at this sweet. This sweet is called comfit. What is it called? Comfit. Comfit. Now let's move forward. But before moving forward, forward, let me tell you one thing. Have you observed that here sugar spelling is wrong? It's not S-U-G-E-R. It is S U G A R. So it is S U G A R, not S U G E R. So just pay attention while reading. Observe things, sorry, observe things very carefully. Anyways, now let's move forward. Oh. Uh -huh. And handed them round as prizes. Now, what is the meaning of hand something round? Hand something round means to pass or offer something to all the people in a group. Now, for example, whenever my brother gets lot of chocolates, then he hands the chocolates round his friends. Means one by one he gives each chocolate to every friend or I would say he offers the chocolates to all his friends. I hope you got it. Now let's move forward. There was exactly one apiece all round. Now you might be wondering that it is not a piece. It is a piece. But no, it is not a, a piece because there is no space. It is a piece. A piece. There was exactly one a piece all round. But what is the meaning of a piece? A piece means for each one. For each one. Now my brother hands the chocolates round to his friends and there will be exactly one apiece all round. 
means every chocolate he will give every chocolate if, if to everyone he will give only one chocolate i cannot remember any day when he gave two chocolates to anybody including himself and anyway he did not get those many chocolates now let's move forward but she must have a prize herself you know said the mouse of course the dodo replied very the dodo replied very gravely now what is the meaning of gravely gravely means seriously and first of all it is not gravely gravely it is not gravely it is gravely what is it gravely gravely i hope you got it and now gravely means seriously now whenever my sister makes mistakes my mother scolds her or i would say my mother talk after she makes mistake after the 5 minutes whenever my sister asks my mother anything my mother answers very gravely even though it's a funny thing she will answer very gravely like my sister will ask um if for example she made something wrong in math or something then my mother then she would ask my mother like how many pieces of cakes are left how many pieces of cake are, are left then my mother will say 10 like that she will do means she will answer very gravely means seriously i don't think it is nice to be grave means it's not nice to be serious all the time isn't it what else have you got in your pocket he went on turning to alice only a thimble said alice sadly now what is the meaning of thimble thimble means a small metal or plastic object that you wear on the edge of your finger to predict when you are sewing now look at this this thing is called thimble which should this girl this lady or i would say this man or whatever is stitching or she is sewing or whatever she is stitching this button on this shirt or dress or whatever so that she won't get hurt with this needle so that's why she has worn this kind of thing and what is this this is thimble what is it thimble so i hope you got it now let's move forward only a thimble said alice sadly hand it over here said said the dodo then they all crowded round her once more while the dodo solemnly presented the thimble presented the thimble saying we beg your acceptance of this elegant now first thimble we have i have already explained now solemnly solemnly meaning i have already explained it to you but let me tell you or i would say let me explain it to you again solemnly means seriously and without any humor like for example this girl is taking a pledge solemnly means this girl is taking a pledge seriously and without any humor and now yes thimble the meaning of thimble is this thing is called thimble i hope you got it now ha huh. elegant now what's the meaning of elegant elegant means attractive in appearance or behavior now look at this lady this lady is elegant isn't it means she's attractive in behavior attractive in appearance or behavior so she is elegant i don't know about this lady's behavior so i can't say that she is elegant in behavior but yes she is elegant in appearance because she is wearing a very beautiful dress isn't it and yes one more thing which is which is the pronunciation of elegant it is not elegant it is elegant was it what is it elegant it is not elegant it is elegant what is it elegant it's not gaint it's gunt elegant elegant not gaint elegant no it's elegant elegant i hope you got it thimble and when it had finished this short speech they all cheered alice thought the whole thing very absurd but they all looked so grave that she did not dare to laugh now what is the meaning of absurd 
absurd means means stupid and unreasonable or silly in a humorous way like i can say sometimes my sister turns absurd means sometimes she turns stupid and unreasonable or silly means sometimes um when i travel her or something she becomes absurd means she becomes stupid unreasonable or silly i hope you got it now what is grave grave means serious or bad i've already explained this to you great i hope you remember it and as she could not think of anything to say she simply bowed and took the thimble looking as solemn as she could now why have i pronounced this as bowed why not bowed first of all the correct pronunciation is bowed it's bowed but not bowed is it bow and arrow no it's bowed bowed what is it bowed i hope you got it now now the meaning of solemn i hope you already know it because i have explained this to you many times or i would say i have explained this to you now but what is the pronunciation of solemn solemn solemn's pronunciation is like this solemn it's solemn not solemn many people pronounce this as solemn solemn but no n is silent over here it's solemn what is it solemn so lum solemn what is it solemn now yes next the next thing was to eat the comfits now what is this comfits no first of all it's not comfits it's comfits now what is comfits comfits also i have explained that it to you that this kind of sweet is called comfit i hope you remember it this caused some noise and confusion as as the large birds complained that they could not taste theirs and the small ones choked and had to be patted on the back however it was over at last and they sat down again in a ring and begged the mouse to tell them something more now what is this patted pat means peet thap thapana matlab ki pat ka matlab hota hai peet thap thapana look i am patting myself well done havisha well done i am patting myself my mother also pats me when i do good work now look at this boy this boy's mother is patting this boy because this boy has completed his homework so this mother is patting him means he is doing like this his mother is not beating him but he his mother is patting him like this very good like that i hope you got it now but what is the meaning of shook shook means like when something gets stuck in your throat and you are unable to breathe so then you choke like whenever small children get choked then their parents pat them like this so that some the, the thing will won't stay there it will go down and so that the children will able to breathe otherwise it will be a problem isn't it now yes so next time you promised to tell me your history you know said alice and why it is you hate c and d she added in a whisper and you know what does she mean to say by c and d she means to say c for c for cat and d for dog c and d is cat and dog she did not want to say cat and dog otherwise she thought that the mouse would be offended so she said c and d she added in a whisper half afraid that it would be offended offended means to hurt somebody's feelings again mine is a long and a sad tale what is this tale tale means a story about events that are not real like for example my sister loves to listen to fairy tales means she loves to listen stories about fairies which are not real 
Now you might have got confused that T A L E is also tail and T A I L is also tail. Yes, both their pronunciations are same, but their meanings and spellings are totally different. Like this T A L E tail means a story about events that are not real, like fairy tales, etc. But what is this T A I L? T I L means the tail of animals, like this dog. This is the dog's tail. So this is the dog's tail. So this is called tail. There are tails of many animals, like cheetah, and there is a small tail of a bear also, of a lion, tiger, dog, cat, and many more, including elephant. I hope you got the difference between tail and between T A L E tail and T A I L tail means this tail and that tail. I hope you got the difference. Said the mouse, turning to Alice and sighing. Now, what is this sighing? Sighing means to breathe, to breathe out slowly and noisily, and expressing tiredness, sadness, pleasure. Like, see, I'm sighing. I sighed. What did I do? I sighed. In the end of the video, you see, I will sigh. Just pay attention. I'll sigh. And sighed. It's a long tail. It's a long tail. Now, just pay attention. She did not use T A L E. She used T A I L tail, which is this kind of tail. This kind of tail is called tail. Now the mouse is saying tail, T A L E tail, and Alice thought it is T A I L tail. So she got confused and she said, and sighing, it's a long tail, certainly. And Alice looking down with wonder at the mouse's tail. But why do you call it sad? <laughs> Isn't it funny that Alice got confused between this tail and this tail? And now she's confused that Pooch cannot be sad, na? This tail cannot be sad. So she's getting confused and she wants to ask the same thing to the mouse. But why do you call it sad? And she kept on puzzling about it while the mouse was speaking so that her idea of the tail was something like this. Fury said to Mouse that he met in the house. Let us both go to law. I will prosecute you. Come, I'll take no denial. We must have a trial. Now, what is this Fury? Fury is the name of a dog. And what type of dog? It is a cur. Cur. See, you are cur. I'll explain this meaning of cur later on but for now fury now what but fury also means extreme anger or force like for example whenever whenever we don't listen to uh, sorry whenever i don't listen to my mother she turns in fury means she becomes furious or i would say she be, she gets extreme anger <sighs> like this and I get, I run away from that place before she scolds me or anything. Now, what is the meaning of prosecute? First of all, it is not prosecute. It's prosecute. Prosecute. It's not secute. It's secute. Prosecute. It's not prosecute. It is not prosecute. It's prosecute. Prosecute. I hope you got it. Prosecute. And prosecute means to officially accuse someone in a court of law of committing a crime. First of all, it is not excuse. It is accuse. What is it? Accuse. Accuse. And what is the meaning of accuse? Accuse ka matlab hota hai dosh lagana. Dosh lagana. It means like to blame someone. So that is called accuse. To officially accuse someone in a court of law of committing a crime. So that is prosecute. Now, this is the judge and this is a lady who is prosecuting this man. This man and who is this man? This man is a famous actor and he acted in some film and got famous or something. So, this lady is trying to prosecute 
this man as she is prosecuting this man that he has committed a crime and here is the judge so that's called prosecute what is it called prosecute now what is the meaning of trial trial means the process in a court of law where a judge listens to where where a judge listens to evidence and decides if somebody is guilty is guilty or not now trial means the process in a court of law where a judge listens to evidence and decides somebody is guilty or not means trial is the process by which uh, in a court a judge or a judge listens to evidence and what do you mean by evidence evidence is like proof listens to the proof and and decides if somebody is guilty or not if somebody has committed the crime or not so that whole process is called trial trial now what is the meaning of denial denial means refusing to allow somebody to have or do something denial means refusing to allow somebody to have or do something like uh, mana kar dena denial means to say no or i would like for example whenever my father teases my mother and if my father asks for something my mother always gives a denial whenever my father teases my mother denial means to say no now let's move forward we must have a trial for really this morning i have nothing to do said the mouse to the cur such a trial dear sir with no jury or judge would be wasting our breath now what is the meaning of cur cur is a type of dog now look this type of dog is called cur what is it called cur cur is an aggressive frightening fierce dog like this so this dog is a cur and what is jury what is jury first of all it's not jury it's jury it's jury what is a jury and what is jury jury means a group of people who have been chosen to listen to all the facts in a trial in a law court and to decide if a person is guilty or not now first of all it is not chosen it's chosen what is it chosen it's not chosen some people pronounce it as chosen it's not chosen it's chosen chosen and now what is jury jury is a group of people like this these many people are the jury means these many people have been selected have been, or i would say have been chosen to listen to all the evidence or i would say to listen to all the facts in a trial and to decide if the person is guilty or not and the main decision will be taken by the judge so this is the jury means these are the people selected selected or i would say these are the people chosen to listen to all the facts in the trial or i would say in a law court and to decide if this person is guilty or not and this is the judge who will take the final decision and now what is the meaning of breath now you might be wondering why have i highlighted or i would say why have i marked out this breath you might have got confused between b r e a t h breath and b r t a b r e a t h e breathe you might have got confused but what is the difference let me tell you breath is a noun whereas breathe is a verb and the pronunciation of breath is breath what is it breath but the pronunciation of this is is breathe what is it breathe and what is the difference in meaning in meaning the difference is that breath means the air that you take into and blow out of your lungs and what is breathe breathe is a verb and it means to move air into and out of the lungs now let me explain this to you
Breath means the air that we take. Like now look at me. Now the air that I took into my lungs. So that air is called breath. Now look, I'm taking in breath. I'm inhaling breath. I'm, I was inhaling breath and I was exhaling breath. Breath. So that air which we take is called breath. Now look at this girl. This girl is taking in breath. Means this air. This air which she's taking in and she's which she's inhaling and exhaling. So this air is called breath. And what is breath? Breath is the process by which we take in breath or I would say by which we inhale breath and exhale breath. Breath means to move air into and out of the lungs. Now see, I'm breathing. Means I'm breathing. This is the action in which I'm taking in air and exhaling air. Or I would say I'm taking in breath and exhaling breath. The air, the air which I'm taking in and or I would say the air which I'm taking in and the air which I'm inhaling and exhaling is called breath. But the action which I'm doing, like I'm inhaling and exhaling breath. So that action is called breathe. Breathe. This girl is breathing. Means this girl is taking in breath and taking out breath. So she's breathing. And what is breath? Breath is the air that she's taking in and out. So that is breath. And this is breathe i hope you got the difference now let's move forward i'll be judge i'll be jury said cunning old fury i'll try the whole cause and condemn you to death now what is the meaning of cunning? First of all, it is not cuning. It is not cuning. Let me rub it. Yeah. First of all, it is not cuning. It is cunning. What is it? Cunning. Cunning. And what is the meaning of cunning? The meaning of cunning is clever in a dishonest or bad way. For example, my brother is cunning. Means my brother is clever. So it means he is clever. I hope you got it. Now, what is the meaning of condemn? First of all, it is not condemn. It's condemn. What is it? Condemn. Condemn. N is silent over here. Means you do not pronounce the word N. So we say condemn. 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 It's not condemn. It's condemn. Condemn. I hope you got it. And what is the meaning of condemn? Condemn means to criticize something or someone strongly now look at this lady many people are condemning her means many people are criticizing her means many people are condemning her now look at this man many people are condemning him means many people are criticizing him and now let's move forward to be continued To be continued. <sighs> Look, I sighed. <sighs> I sighed again. <sighs> I sighed once more. And now I'm breathing in. I'm breathing to calm me down from my mother's fury. <laughs> Just joking. If you have reached the end of this video, I am sure it has added a few new vocabularies to your English. Just try to use these words in your daily life conversations. It will give a boost to your English level. You will get a little extra confidence while speaking. See you in the next part of this series called Alice in Wonderland. Stay blessed. Bye bye. See you in the next video.